On today's episode of Watch J. Argo, energy drinks. What is going on guys? I am Watch J. Argo and today, well actually last night, I watched a Linus Tech Tips video where they reviewed 20 energy drinks and then they ranked them from best to worst. And I immediately was appalled. I was personally offended by that video. So today, we're gonna remake it with correct rankings. That's the goal here. Now, I love Linus to death, and I'm not trying to say anything bad about him. I'm just saying, as a, a self-proclaimed non-energy drink drinker, he should leave the energy drink drinking to those of us that drink energy drinks. That's a lot of... It's, it's an energy tongue twister, drink. I'd say. It's an yeah. energy drink a lot. <laughs> and we are going to be fancy just like they were in the LTT video. Here I have a box of coupe glasses because I bought 200 of these so we could beat the Guinness World Records forklift stacking record for coupe glasses. And I think the record's 44 and I bought 200 of them so we could stack and break a lot of them. And then I don't have anywhere we can drive my forklift around anymore. It happens. So let's open up our glasses, get some energy drinks on the table, and get to work. This is like one by everyone knows the rules. Basically, you pour yourself a little bit uh -huh. and do like a quick taste test. Yeah, maybe like wine. So don't swallow it, do spit a smell. it out. <laughs> I think we need to disinfect these cups. Uh, they have been here for a bit. All right, we're gonna <laughs> kick it off with the original, something that I don't consider to be an energy drink at all. However, it was in the original video, so we are doing the test from the original video. This is a... Uh, OG Mountain Dew, full sugar probably. Well, it's sweetened with corn syrup, not full <laughs> sugar. 92% uh, of your daily value in a single serving. Woo wee! I need kids that drink like a 30 pack before basketball games. Oh, absolutely. And uh, a cold Bartle Skeet <laughs> to me is a classic drink. I don't think you can ever go wrong with this. I don't think it can even deserve a low ranking, but let's try it and just give it some thoughts here. It tastes better out of this glass. I don't know why it tastes better out of this glass. It's a solid like eight out of 10, right? At oh. least, minimum. I gotta do decimals. I'm gonna go 8.4. 8.4, I could see 8.4. <clears throat> you almost have to judge all drinks against Mountain Dew. It could, it could very well be a 10 on a good day. And that's the original Halo energy drink. It is the original Halo energy drink here. Code Red was, the next, the next step in the Halo Energy drink. Just like Star Trek, the next generation, <laughs> that's right. So here we have OG Monster, a drink that the first time I tried it, I hated it so much. I bought it, it had just come out, and I was on a balcony at a ski resort, and I poured it all out over the balcony into the <laughs> snow. I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever had in my life. Um, I have a slightly more refined palette now, because I was probably 15 when it came out. It has such a terrible color though. <laughs> yeah. That is a horrific color, Monster. It's, Can you do something about that? Well, they just need to change the name to The Kyle. <laughs> it just needs to be The Kyle. OG Monster could be called <laughs> just Kyle. Take the M and just call it Kyle. Every, right. Everything about it's terrible. So you can't, you can't like sniff it or else you have, just have a horrible reaction. Yeah. It's like, a, it's a little raspberry-ish, right? They, they put some berry in OG Monster. I don't know. It's just acid. It, it might just be acid as well. Either way, it's incredibly good. I don't think anything could ever be wrong with OG Monster right there. So what would we what would we rate an OG Monster? I mean like a 6.1 on that. 6.1? That's not my favorite. All right, I'll, I'll give it a seven. I think it deserves better than a six for like merely inventing the category. And there's not a lot of caffeine in any of these, right? This is like uh, 180. 160, 160. So it's not like you're gonna change your day drinking one of those. That's the same as like three coffees or half of a bang. Here we have Rockstar Original. Now I've tried this maybe once in my life. It's the same color. Of course. Look at this, Xbox Game Pass. So that's a true gamer drink <laughs> now. It smells fruitier than the Monster. It smells fruitier. I think it tastes more like acid. <laughs> if, if I'm right about what it tasted like like five years ago. I, I honestly don't think I've ever had the original Rockstar in my whole entire life. In small doses like this, it's pretty good. Worse than Monster. It's worse than Monster. Worse than Monster. We can give that one a four. <laughs> that's, that's a four. I mean, 
I don't think there's any aftertaste. Anything above a five is like something that you're probably willing to drink. Yeah. You know, like on a weekly basis, yeah. but. I would not be willing to drink. Not, not this, no. Yeah. Uh, not even, this can't even be used as. It has like a pre-taste when you smell it. This yeah. ha it's like medicine for a minute and then it goes away. We'll go ahead and dump that one out. It just has like a, there's no aftertaste. It, no aftertaste. It hits really. and then just like, yeah, it goes flat. Yeah, it doesn't stay on the palate. The pomegranate Red Bull is gone. Apparently they don't make that one anymore. So we have blueberry Red Bull. Uh, there are a bunch of red Red Bulls right now, but they're like cinnamon spice and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. So we're Holiday season. Holiday season. Peach. We couldn't cheat. We had to be as close <laughs> to the original as possible. Wow, that is purple. That is purple. That is. Blueberry is very purple, but I guess blueberries also kind of have this color to them. Doesn't have. It looks like grape drink. It does look like grape drink. It smells very much like blueberry, I gotta say. Like that blue, is. It's got blue number one in it. You get hit by a face full of blueberry when you open that like blueberry pie. Oh, that's horrific. Yeah. There's no redeeming quality. Red Bull Blue, three out of 10 for me, right out of the gate. Three out of 10, would not buy. It's pretty, I think it's in that same four category as the Rockstar. You it, think it's a four? It starts out with a little bit and then it just ends with nothing. There isn't an aftertaste, I'll give you that. All right, traditional drinks out of here, except we do have original Red Bull because there's an F1 car on the front of it right now and I had to buy it. I had to buy anything with an F1 car on the front of it. There's no automotive energy drinks. That's a problem. It's a problem with the industry. Why are they all gaming energy drinks? This is probably good. Or maybe not. I need to take a bigger drink, I think. Red Bull has this like, it has an aftertaste. It hits hard. It's also got like a very unique smell. You know, you can crack you always an know original Red Bull. Red Bull and you'll know it's always a Always know. Yeah, clubs try to tell you that you won't know the difference, but everyone knows. <laughs> it's probably the easiest hitting, so it's the easiest one to just take and down that out of all of them. The other thing, I think it's the most expensive energy drink because this mm -hmm. is uh, eight fluid ounces and it costs the same as like yeah. this, probably. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah. Uh, we do have OG water here, probably the best of the best. This is a 10 out of 10. I agree with Linus <laughs> fully. OG water in the free Yeti water bottle instead of the Linus Tech Tips water bottle is, uh, that's the move. Mm. I agree with the guy on Archer when it comes to water. What's that? I just can't say it out loud. Original Red Bull's rating has to be a control, so I think we just give it a five because you will take it if it's handed to you. That's kind of, that's original Red Bull for me. I think it beats all the other original energy drinks. Yeah, I don't go out of my way to buy it, that's for sure. No, and, well, And I yeah. would buy OG Monster before I ever bought that. Um, and you know, Mountain Dew, it's just in its own category. Mountain Dew should have been its own category where, cause you drink that normally, like yeah. it's just around. It's like, it is like water, air, Mountain Dew <laughs> should just exist around you. <laughs> so. Yeah. It comes from the it comes from the mountains. Comes right? from the so, mountains. Yeah, it's, it's a naturally occurring substance. <laughs> so it's it's kind of its own thing. Mountain Dew just exists as one of the best of all time. That's for sure. So here we have the updated gamer drinks. Not really though. In the original video, they actually had the Game Fuel versions, which are fully discontinued now because it's been a year. So we have the Mountain Dew Kickstarts, which are you know they came after Amp, and Amp was really good. And then Kickstart came out and it was flavored amp. I think originally it was just flavored amp. We're gonna go with that because the game fuels are gone. And also Coca-Cola Bite is gone. So we have instead Coca-Cola Y3000. This is a limited edition as well. And it has the artwork from Bite for the most part. So let's get to it. Uh, where are we starting? Orange. Orange. It's my least favorite flavor. So we're gonna start with <laughs> just, orange. Just orange. Right out of the, right out of the gate. Caffeine, 5% juice, so healthy. And the caffeine content is 92 milligrams a can. So basically nothing, not much more than traditional Mountain Dew. Uh, I think the game fuel stuff was turned up quite a bit more. It might've been about 120. I just don't remember offhand. I did try all those and I did like all of those. So I don't think you can really give them bad ratings. Rest in peace, Mountain Dew game fuel. So that really smells like an orange Starburst or a little bit of Lucky Charm. It's actually not bad. That's. 
Ugh. I don't mind orange. It, it kind of tastes like an orange peel. Kind of does. It does not taste like orange. I'm giving that one a, it's a, it's a 4.4. Would not buy. Yeah, I could go with that. I wouldn't buy it either, but it's not, it's not atrocious. Mountain Dew got the last laugh, I bought it. <laughs> but I, I, I'm downgrading that to a 3.4 right now. <laughs> it has a horrible aftertaste. It has a horrible aftertaste. I just don't think you- Wow. You never played soccer growing up and had orange slices as a kid? I'm not into orange That's slices. That's the problem. That's, yeah, I guess that you could didn't, be. Didn't have your palate train, right? I was not expecting this color, but that is an orange mango, pineapple orange mango kickstart. Yeah, That's this, what we have here. This one's 10% juice. 10%, wow, that's got real pineapple juice in it. <laughs> Probably, yes. Probably. <laughs> you can smell the pineapple early on. Then it's just acidic. It's not good. Oh yeah, the orange is better. The orange is better than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a 2.2, and it's not changing. Even with the aftertaste, it's just a 2.2. Uh, unfortunately, it might be healthier, but I'll try one more time. Prove me wrong, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Smells great, tastes terrible. Yeah. Oh, too many. You got pineapple, yeah. orange, and mangoes, too many. Three flavors is too many, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Only Dr. Pepper is allowed to preach. <laughs> 23 flavors. 23 flavors all day. Never got it wrong. Fruit punch. So this is also like five flavors, but yeah. fruit punch now is basically just high C flavored. So yeah. where are we at? That's what we're about to find out. It's red. It's actually orange red. That's for yeah, sure. It is orange red. That's more orange than high C. Looks like a tiger's blood shaved ice. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, I never, you know, I've never had a tiger's blood shaved ice. Smells great, tastes good. Almost a 4.8, 4.8. It's better than the other two. It's better than the other two by a lot. It's literally just fruit punch with a, more of a kick. That's it, caffeinated fruit punch. Feel free to give this to your kids. This is not parenting advice. <laughs> yeah. I finished the fruit punch and it was worth it. <laughs> All right, black cherry, 5% juice. Again, it's got electrolytes. That's what plants crave. The others didn't have electrolytes. That one had B and C vitamin. That one had coconut water. That one had mm -hmm. B and C vitamin. You gotta mix them all together if you want. If you want everything. If you want what plants they crave. Should have, they should have a Kickstart everything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a terrible color. I don't right? want to drink. That is a terrible color. <laughs> the electrolytes look bad. Oh, everyone knows that black cherry is the hardest one to get right. All right, black cherry, don't let me down. You drink it and it has like a flavor at first mm, and then yeah. it turns into nothing. This one doesn't really have a flat. Black cherry is super hard to get right. Yeah, that black cherry, I'm giving it a three. That's, it's, I think it's an even three. We don't need to go above it. Now here, this is Coke Zero. Coke Zero Sugar from Coca-Cola Creations Y3000. This is that Y3K. Good stuff. I don't know how we have it if it's so far in the future. <laughs> it's from the future. <laughs> I used my time machine to go get it. This is also a traditional drink and not really energy. Uh, so we're gonna jump right in here and try it out. Mm. It smells good. When you first smell it, it's, uh, it smells like butterbeer and the aftertaste is also butterbeer from, uh, from Universal Studios. Smell. <coughs> smells like flat Coke. <laughs> it like. It's either butterbeer or flat Coke. I'm not here to debate it. Yeah, this is a well-shaken well original <laughs> Coca-Cola. Is that what it is? Uh, somewhere down here. Oh man, I would not put that one in the worst category, <laughs> but I'll give it to you. The worst of this round is between this one and this one. I'm giving that one a five. I'm giving Y3K a five, and Eric's giving Y3K a... I'm gonna give it a two. I figured you were just It just tastes down. like flat soda. Okay. You could at least give it three for Y3K. In the future, they love flat soda. In the future. <laughs> he didn't know how to use the seashells. He didn't know how to use the seashells, that's that's true. So we basically gave both of these a three. This Which one? This one's worse. That one is worse. I'll I mean, give that one a I can accept a flat soda, like if yeah. I was really craving a soda, right? I could probably do it, but this, I think I could make it through like that much of it and I just wouldn't finish. Yeah, throw that one away. To be honest, I wouldn't yeah, finish I'm it. I'm with you and we're gonna give this one definitely the winner of it, the category. They kept the original 
fruit punchness to it. It just has that little extra kick. The next round, this is the part that everybody that was into computers and gaming was personally offended about. I noticed the comments agreed with me wholeheartedly, and I was thrilled to see that everybody was upset when Linus trashed the balls lineup. All of it. And as you guys know, if you were around carrying your computer in the, you know, the handle sling that snapped around your case going to the LAN, you drank nothing but Balls Original. And Balls Original was the best. It was so hard to find. It was such a computer, like a nerd drink. It was, it was the original that we all identified with. And a lot of you probably remember Target sold it for a while and that was awesome because it was easy to get it for quite a while. I actually had to go to specialty pop stores in town to buy this. So uh, I paid a lot too, almost $3.29 per bottle. Did you get a deal? Did they break it down when you bought five? You got it they, for like- They do not break it down. It was $25 for five bottles or if something. If you buy it in bulk, it's uh, yeah. $3.19 a piece. Thank you. The thing is back then, this was <clears throat> crazy expensive and it was hard to buy because we didn't have a lot of money when, you're, when we were bootstrapping computers back in the day and making this stuff happen. And nowadays, all these other energy drinks are the same price, so price doesn't really factor into it. You could buy this if you wanna go out of your way and find it. So, we're gonna jump right in with Balls Original. I don't know if I can handle it because I feel sick after the first, <laughs> first round of energy drinks. Already? Yeah, I don't, I don't think the human stomach is made to mix all of the original energy drinks together. I, the, actually, the mix that killed us was probably the Mountain Dew Kickstart. Man, well, yeah, that one was hard too. In general, you can low rate all of those. Good news is I don't have to sleep, so. Hey, there you go. There's, there's Look that. It's perfectly clear, so you already yeah. know it's healthy. And it's actually not a very high it's, caffeine content. It's just water. It's just water in a bottle. It doesn't, it smells like Sprite. It does, it smells like Sprite. I've, I will be 100% honest and say I've never had one of these in my life. 10 out of 10. 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10. It's not a real number, you can't do that. I can do that, I can no. do that with this one. No, absolutely 10 out not. of 10, all right. This is Sprite. 20 I guarantee this is heavy. 20 out of 10. Here it goes, this is heavy syrup Sprite. I'm gonna smell it. It's not even heavy syrup, it's perfection. This is a Sprite 2.0. <laughs> this is double any Sprite I've this ever had. This is not Sprite Remix. How dare you insult balls. <laughs> Bro, Woo! this is a, a corn syrup heavy Sprite. You can't. You can't drink this and play basketball like all the other guys. You can't do it. You can. What you can do is drink this and play video games because you're not moving. This is the lightest tasting <laughs> no. like anything there ever was. Anyway, I am giving that one a 20 out of 10, or if Eric does not allow it in the scoring system, a 10 out of 10. A That's perfect 10. I'll go with a 5.5. All right. It is a hey. heavy Sprite. Those are high numbers for Eric's ranking so far. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. No, I gave like the old MD got, got an eight. That's it, that's it. This I mean, better be. This, that's the second highest. This is going to be. This is Mountain Balls Dew. Ginger. Mountain Dew. No, I, so here's the thing, I detest ginger. I don't drink ginger yeah. ale. I hate it, but I am going to do it for this video if I can get the cap off. It is, <laughs> it is on there. Man, that one popped. All right. Ooh. Yeah. It's like I shook up the champagne first. All right, I'm probably, it's I'm gonna same, taste this. I'm it's gonna, the same color. I'm doing this just for the video. <laughs> oh, it smells like ginger. <laughs> I said I'd never do this and I'm doing it. I literally have never had this one in my life and I would never this, buy it. This smells like we might go be in the hospital after this. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Okay, if I had to give something a zero, that would be it. Yeah, I'm it sorry, is. balls. Cancel that one, balls. <laughs> just <laughs> cancel it. I, I guess. I don't know. I, I know people that drink this kind of stuff, but yeah, it's heavy on syrup too. A lot of people do drink ginger ale. I don't know yeah. what the point of it is. But this isn't like, I feel like a ginger ale is light and crisp. Yeah, that's and not. And this is it, this is heavy. It is syrupy. So I'll you have that. so you have Sprite 2.0. You have ginger ale 3.0. <laughs> that's Y3K right there. <laughs> that stuff is ridiculous. All right, here's orange, and this one is simply called orange soda, as you would expect. Your favorite. This color. looks like uh, what's that medicine when you're a kid? You know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Your parents make you drink this for everything. They're like, this is the medicine. It's just orange children's drink. It's orange soda. It tastes very orange. It does not taste like Fanta orange, though. I'm not giving that high marks. <laughs> this is. That's like a 2.5. I'll give it a 2.5. 2.5 is a consolation prize, I'll be honest. I would call this. I'd give it a two. I call this uh, 
What is the uh, Dr. K, oh. Dr. K version of orange soda? Big K, big, <laughs> big K. K or whatever. Big K. This is big K heavy in orange. That's, these are all heavy in corn syrup is what they taste like. Big K would get it right. Yeah. 10 out of 10, no matter what anyone says. <laughs> Zero out of 10, right? I mean, yeah. we already have it. It's throw good. that in the worst, throw this in the best. And the rest of this is just consolation prizes. Two out of 10 for me. It, might, it might be dropping. He might have been right on his. He mean. might have been right about <laughs> the orange and the ginger ale. <laughs> I, have, I don't have a good, I don't have high hopes for the rest of it. This is cherry soda. Oh boy. This one will be good. All right. We do have the root beer as well, but we're not including it because it was not included in the original test. It's clear, it's already healthy. You know it. Oh, it smells like a lot of cherry. It smells like a lot of cherry, but it tastes like original balls with cherry, a hint of cherry, and I love it. It's probably... It can have a five. I'm giving it a five. I like it better than that one, for sure. Wow. The cherry kind of takes away from the, the heaviness, but... That one has moved close to the winning pile, but it's not gonna win. I assume this will taste kind of like cherry Coke. I don't really know. It smells like. It really smells like cherry Coke. Smells cola. like cherry Coke. Five out of 10. It's not as good as cherry Coke, yeah. but it's also like, for a cola, this isn't heavier than cherry Coke. It is not. But it heavier. doesn't hit as hard as cherry Coke, but it's there. Yeah, cherry Coke has a really in your face cherry taste. Yeah. Really. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. And what would we give this one? Something pretty bad. That that was like a that was a two because it got worse. Oh yeah, a two. So Linus wasn't as wrong as I thought. He was very wrong about this one. It does taste great. Has never ever let me down. Uh, so balls, you got a little bit of work to do. I would consider canceling the orange and the ginger ale. Some people might be into that. Cancel. Cancel. No way. Cancel. No way. <laughs> Next. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you do with. What you do with that? Yeah, this is hard. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, I feel terrible. I feel like uh, I've been like three rounds at a buffet. <laughs> it's, it's you know, at Disney they have that Coke buffet. That's no, a real thing. Yeah. You get to try Coke from around the world. Is it's like you just keep drinking it, so you just pay money to get in there? And they don't. give you like shot glasses, and it's oh, free. Oh, okay, okay. So there's, I think I tried all of them, and maybe like one of them was good. I pretty much hated most of the drinks from around the world. It's because here in America, we love our sugar. We have almost exactly what LTT had to test on the gamer drink category. We have Pewds, which is a good one, the PewDiePie G Fuel. We have the Warhead Ghost. We have the Phase, uh, Phase Rug, Sour Chug Rug G Fuel. And then we don't have the Tetris. Instead, we have G Fuel Pac-Man. It's the closest thing to Tetris. Apparently that one's gone. And here in the center, we have Ghost Orange Cream, which was just added because one of the other drinks have disappeared. So <clears throat> there we go. I, right out of the gate, that's probably my favorite one. You hate I, orange. I, but you add cream and now you like it? Yeah, I love cream sickles. Look, I'm already very upset that I tried a round of drinks called balls. <laughs> I'm just you not. tried the best drink in the world <laughs> no, and now would, you're upset? I, I mean, I guess that just means I'm not a gamer because where, I don't like them. Where do we start? So Eric likes sour a little bit. I mean, you get like sour gummy worms and stuff. I actually hate those. So I have a feeling this one's a loser and this one's a winner, but we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna rate them properly. I, just, I don't understand how you can not like orange, but you add cream to it and you like it. Cream sickle. It tastes like, well, they just add vanilla. They yeah, add well, vanilla. Yeah, yeah. And that's good. Wow, it's clear. <laughs> Tones it down enough. You know what? You. Bang is clear though too, isn't it? I feel like the, the crazy, wow, Neurofactor coffee, Alpha GPC, 200 milligrams of natural caffeine. So it's not bang level, but it's up there. It is way up there. All right, ghost orange cream. How's it taste? Mm. It has a horrific smell, like a pre-smell. Yeah. It burns your nose a little. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll take a bigger drink. I mean, it's, it's, it's creamsicle. It tastes like creamsicle. Bad aftertaste. I'm not getting much aftertaste. It kind of, like, it just fades down. It's like a 2.7. I'll give it a four. It just has a weird aftertaste. It just doesn't end. It just keeps. It is still there. It stays in your mouth. Four. 2.7, four on the ghost creamsicle. It'd be better as gum. 
It, that would be really good gum, I'll tell you that. I can see why people would like it, but. <clears throat> Your I'm choice. Not, I'm not which, one of them. Which one next? Pac-Man it is. I've never had any of these. I also have never had any of these, and I stay away from super high caffeine energy drinks. Yeah. I drink we're, one white monster every day. We're both gonna be in the hospital. The thing about the super high caffeine is it's always clear. This one's only 140 milligrams, so it's not insane. People that drink one bang a day do end up in the hospital, I yeah, think. Yeah, I was gonna say, do we have like a IV bag on tap or something? <laughs> so, we gotta <laughs> switch back to water via IV. It smells very berry-y before you drink it. Oh, it tastes mm. like berry static. Yeah, it's not. Berry static. It's worse than this one. It has a very berry aftertaste that stays on your tongue. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one. Yeah, I, I do like a 1.8. 1.8 is high. This has a better, like, even though the, it has an aftertaste, but at least it's like a, a cream and vanilla. Yeah. yeah, it's not, yeah. and this one's just not. Not good. To torture myself, I'm gonna start with the Warheads now. Sour watermelon. <laughs> it's just, you open it, and it's just a solid. <laughs> it is a Warhead. <laughs> you have to open the can. <laughs> with a can. Oh, it smells horrible. Wow. It smells, that smells offensive. But now, when it came out of the can, it smelled offensive. It's now it smells like some kind of candy I can't think of. Not Warheads. It's sour. I think it actually does taste like Warheads. We, we're gonna give that one a 2.1. Yeah. A 2.1. <clears throat> Man, I'd give that one worse marks, but it's not as offensive when you drink it. Yeah. Whew. That's not up there. No, I'm gonna have acid reflux after that. <laughs> Do have pure water, <laughs> like the Migos said. Pour some water out if you want. <laughs> you want to? Do you need to recover? I need to recover. This is a five times filtered perfection right here. Water has never tasted so good. That is some ten out of ten right there. I give it a five. <laughs> Sour chug rug. Dude, if this tastes like sour old carpet, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> I am you're not. Just, you're taking the name literally. I'm not gonna be happy. Why are they all white? All the high caffeine ones are white. They take the coloring out because it's so dangerous. Should the next test be we pour all of these on a rag and wipe? Absolutely. The car and see if the paint see comes if uh, see if it's acetone or air <laughs> it's either acetone or aircraft remover, <laughs> one of the two. So this smells amazing, doesn't? I, I don't know what it is, but. It smells great. Mm, not good. It's not. I don't. I don't have words. <laughs> this isn't even a flavor. It's. It has just no like flavor. the name. It's made. I up. will say there's no flavor. It's kind of sour, but not. It's more of just fizzy. Yeah. This one is still worse. The Warheads one was very fizzy, and that's how it became sour. I think this one is fizzy. Yeah. Huh. The Warheads one has five calories. I mean, this is still the worst. I mean, Still the on. worst by far. Hold on. That's for the, that's for the channel. I just want to know. Yeah. I wouldn't do it any other Well, shape. Sour Chug Rug is definitely nothing. Yeah, this one's worse. It's worse. Oh my God. All right, try the PewDiePie. Here we go. Zero calories. Zero sugar. If this one wins by default, <laughs> those are all just so bad. 300 milligrams, we're at bang level, unfortunately. <sighs> We are at bang level. Do you have to shake this up to make the caffeine? Do you have Ca to shake caffeine? I think um, you're having a stroke. <laughs> having a stroke. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta reintegrate the caffeine into this drink by shaking it. It smells okay. It smells like, yeah. it kind of smells like used leather belt. <laughs> yeah, it's got some leather. There's too. leather undertones. Why is there? <laughs> there's literally leather in this. We're not kidding. It's not a joke. Oh. It's got a really bright berry and then fades to nothing. Yeah. I don't, I don't love it. Just because it's, it's more neutral. I'll give you that. But like I'm making it through like. The taste that stays in your mouth is not. Yeah. You'll make it through like that much of the can, just like the other one. Oh, if you drink a bunch of it, it gets worse. Yeah, but this one, this one is like starts 
what this one finishes Absolutely. like. Absolutely. I'll go. Worst. There. Best. Just and because the aftertaste was the least offensive on that. I think we can give all the true gamer drinks a two. How do they drink this? I just don't recommend 300 milligram energy drinks. I mean, if you think it changes your life, uh, you know, you do you, but. So why did you put the kid with the heart problem in the videos? Well, <laughs> you got your life insurance up, right? <laughs> yeah, I'd, uh, do not qualify. <laughs> and here we have the wrestling energy drinks. This is the Rocks Zoa. Zoa original that was featured in the last one is gone. So I went to every store I could. I went to like six different stores to buy all this and we ended up with Zoa strawberry watermelon. Now I looked everywhere and then I got on Zoa's website and found out they discontinued it too. Maybe the rock just wasn't having it. So this is strawberry watermelon, zero sugar. It's the closest thing we're gonna get to the old rock Zoa. Electrolytes, what do we have? Caffeine from 160 milligrams, okay. This seems, based on what they're saying here, very, very natural. B and C vitamins, obviously in powder form. Usually the caffeine's even in powder form, but this says it's from green coffee and green tea. Camu extract, obviously probably a powder form, and 190 milligrams of branch chain amino acids. And electrolytes, that's what plants crave, again. <laughs> Why does, on the bottom of it says, if you drink this whole can, you become as strong as a rock. Oh! <clears throat> Maybe that's why it's discontinued. I can't wait to open it up. <laughs> We're gonna become the rock. It's a good color. That's a really good strawberry watermelon color. I'll give it to him. It's pink red. It looks like strawberry and also watermelon. What do we have here? Uh, it smells bad. Yeah, it, smells it smells like medicine. Yeah. Well, I mean, for being, if it's healthy, it's gonna smell bad, right? Problem. Oh! Immediate zero out of 10. Yeah. I give it a one. A one? A one. But. It doesn't deserve a one. <clears throat> no, I mean, if, if they truly tried to go healthy on it, I didn't expect much more than that. Yeah. Maybe it does taste, it almost tastes like a little bit of green tea in there. And yeah. I love green tea. I hate it in my energy drink based on that drink. So. It almost tastes like cough syrup. It does, it smells like cough syrup. Yeah. Here we have the Logan Paul and KSI Prime Ice Pop. It was in the original and of course they still sell it. And this is actually like the best value. I think these are actually uh, maybe even slightly under $2 each. Oh, sorry. I should have left it open for you. I've never tried these either because <clears throat> not a big fan. It smells great. I don't know what the smell is, but it smells great. Tastes like a weirdly watered down ice pop. I mean, I figured by the bottle that's what they were going for. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does taste like a bomb pop, but with a lot of water in it. You could drink it. Six out of 10. Six out of 10. Negative one. Negative one? It's awful. Wow. It's not even more second drink. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's see if I was wrong. Not Doesn't good. it taste like Gatorade Frost? No, Frost is like a thousand times better. Than I don't know, man. I don't know. <clears throat> Out of the two of them, which one wins and which one loses? This one wins. No, oh, can't give it to him. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I was going to go get it, but my heart stopped. <laughs> yeah, I was doing this uh, test. I was going to say, Woo! the rock gets the W. Wow. I was not expecting The Rock to get the W. So now we have firmly established our winners and our losers. Everything over there scored below a two almost, except Rockstar. I think Rockstar got a three, something, something like that. So that side of the table is very bad. Um, this side of the table is mostly amazing. You got one solid drink. One so, what's the one solid drink? Uh, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew OG. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is about energy drinks. It's not about Mountain yeah, Dew. Yeah, and that's fair. That's Mount, fair. Mountain Dew cheated its way into this by yeah. being in the original. I could understand video. like game fuel. I get that. Like, yeah, that would have been fair. But it, like, I think we, Mount, Mountain Dew was the original Halo soda. So I mean, maybe that's what passed it in. Per the rules, we have to try all these again. As long as I gotta try that Prime again. <laughs> Everything over there is so bad that I don't know what the winner is. I think though, for me, the oh. worst one is. The G Fuel. The G Fuel is the worst one. Tetris G Fuel, or Pac-Man G Fuel. 
is definitely a loser. I can, I can feel it in my mouth right now. It tasted so bad. I have not forgotten. This is your ranking from worst to worst, worst to best of the worst. Worst. That's awful. Uh, that one is awful too. Ball's <laughs> ginger was terrible. Yeah. If you're into ginger, you might have a different opinion. This so. is probably just the weakest of the originals, yeah. yep. right? I mean, that's just what it is. I like how you said Prime was the worst and it ended up in the middle. Well, I'm trying to get, if I go too low, I'm not gonna get that boxing match. Yeah. So I gotta put it in the middle to try to get the boxing match. Okay. So I'll go there, you know. Logan Paul, yeah. feel free to email us. Eric wants to fight. Yeah, I'll make. He, he wants to get in on the boxing I want, match. I want the check like all the other guys get. That's true. Hit me one time and I'm gonna fall over and make it look real. Cause that's what the guy just did. I don't think we can say that <laughs> on air. Well, I mean, I, I can't, oh, let me, <clears throat> quotation. <man. laughs> yeah. There was no flavor. Static, just, no flavor. Yeah, whatever all the acids are in there is what you get. Yep. I will let you rank the winners. Well, this is a 10 out of 10. Here, let's just, just because you haven't tried it again. <laughs> yeah, we can't do it. It's just not good. I mean, if you like it, I can appreciate that. It's so smooth. So now give me your. It's so good. Give me your. Oh, your. straight up. Best of the best, untouchable. Yeah. Number two, Mountain Dew. I'll put it right there, no doubt. This is the worst of the best by far. It won by default because Eric didn't love the Prime. I would say that one belongs over there. The Zoa was not, I was not having it. It does say live healthy on it. It, it gets over there because it is the only drink we have tried in this entire thing that's probably any good for you whatsoever. Yeah, it does. It does actually seem like if it's, if it's accurate, it might be healthy. Yeah. Let's uh, take a quick look at the- I mean, is it really healthy? Zero added sugar, 1% yeah. of your carbs, Carbonated water, acid, vegetable juice color. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It's got cyanocoblalmin. <laughs> it's, that's, it sounds like something off Osmosis Jones. Osmosis <laughs> Jones. <laughs> no idea. All right. And that's a pretty healthy movie at the end. I, I get it. So what are we doing with these? This oh, The Kickstart beats it. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's fair. That's our rankings right there. That is 10 out of 10. That is, uh, we gave that a solid eight like out of 10. Eight, eight, eight out of 10, obviously Mountain Dew OG. Then you're going to like a, a five. Five. Mm, Three-ish, two-ish. Yep. And maybe a one. Maybe a one, I'd, <clears throat> I'd give it a zero. Yeah, I here, think I ranked a zero right out of the gate. Here you're like. Starting at. Two. Uh-huh. 1.5. Uh-huh. Negative one. Okay. One <laughs> point five. Well, you can't, you can need to flip the prime and the rock star then. I mean, I was trying to be respectful, but here it goes. All right. A lot of our rankings did just change, but this is accurate. And there is no question about it that the LTT video was way off by not ranking this 10 out of 10, <laughs> like any proper gamer would. All right, gamers. Thank you for watching. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop. Watch JRGo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. We made this video. <laughs> we made this video because my back is gone. <laughs> and I went back to the chiropractor this morning and he fixed it. And it's still not, it's not great. He was like, don't lift anything. Drink a bunch of water. So you drank the complete opposite. Drink a bunch of water. I will not. I will try all of the worst drinks I, I can find. Him, I told him I was drinking a lot of water. So I'll make good on my promise. Right. <laughs> this water is good. The water is a true 10 out of 10. I mean, should we pour these like in different spots of your yard and see what grows the fastest? Oh, I guarantee if we pour these in the yard, <laughs> grass is dead. Grass. If you pour this in the yard. Grass is dead. Well, actually, if you pour- uh, If you pour balls in the yard, do a bunch of like little balls grow up around it? No, but if you pour that one, that one kickstart in that's got electrolytes, it's what plants crave. <laughs> Y3K deserves a runner up. Everything, look, it's worse now. Because I dropped it? Yeah, as soon as you like try it again, it's gonna be freaking awful, dude. You can't buy my water bottle on my store. What? I have the same water bottle. No, we don't have the LTT water bottles. We, we need Watch Jericho water bottles. Just put Watch JR Go on it. Can you get a Sharpie? <laughs> can't, you can't read that. It says Watch JR Go on it. <laughs> Just go buy it. The best part about this is it has the off-white bottle on the bottom. That is as sick as it don't, gets when it comes to water bottles. Don't engrave mine. Eric has dared me to take one drink of the, it looks, this is antifreeze right there. That looks exactly the same as uh, yeah, Dex Cool. Don't you dare do it.
<laughs> Dude, you can't even get it. It's, the, the fizziness is so strong. Oh, it's blowing you back in your it. face. Got, hold on, I'm gonna try to hold my breath. Cause you can't, like my eyes are watering. Don't drink it, there's still antifreeze on the outside. Uh, hey, I've had antifreeze. <laughs> Don't do it. Better than Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm not kidding. That that right there will give you the Logan Paul fight. I'm not drinking it. No way. At least it's a good color. Try it. I kid you not. Take the smallest sip. You cannot tell me that that's not better than I'd say eight of them we drank. Wow. <laughs> it's not it's that so bad. It's weird. It has like this great berry taste. The berry taste is good. <laughs> yeah. But then you can really taste the like ultra caffeine drinks behind it. Yeah. This tastes like kickstart mixed bang kind of. So but it's we still weren't... proof that every drink has antifreeze in it. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of conspiracy theory is this? I don't know. Oh man. But still, that was better than at least half of what we just drank. Weirdly good. And now I hate to tell you that my left side feel, feels paralyzed. You feel this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I felt this side. Which, side's, which side's your heart on? Which side? Is this the side that locks up when you're about to die? Uh, oh my uh. gosh.